Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I'm going to be giving you guys my personal opinion about the best units to pick with the new Dokkan Thank You Celebration gift cards on Global. And uh, the way it's going to work is that we're going to go through each of the different types one by one. And I'll highlight like three or four units from each pool that I think are good options and tell you guys why. I think, uh, you know, they would be good to pick up, right? Now, of course, before we talk about any specific units, um, I think the best way to go about it is to start by picking units that you don't have instead of getting dupes, all right? So let's say you're missing like four or five units from the pool, like you don't have any copies at all, then start by getting those ones first, and then you can consider going for dupes for certain units, all right? So with all that said, why don't we start here with the... AGL characters first and right off the bat the first thing that stands out to me is AGL Fit Boo. Now before his Dokkan Awakening he's pretty mediocre you know not really worth paying attention to but after his Dokkan Awakening which is now available on global this dude just becomes an absolute monster getting 300% attack and defense plus a high chance to dodge all attacks for seven turns he is crazy for short to medium length events obviously for longer events he does lose a good chunk of his passive so he's not as effective there but for most events in the game he is going to be very very strong so agl fit boo i think is a top priority uh from there we also have agl super saiyan 2 khalifla now unfortunately her extremes the awakening which should have been available on global already is still not here so at this point, we don't really know when that's coming. It might be next month, it might be sometime next year. So if you guys don't want to play the waiting game, then maybe hold off. But her EZA is just very impressive, both offensively and defensively. She's getting attacks effective against all types when paired with a Kale. She's getting a ton of defense on her super attack. She has a high chance to dodge attacks, medium chance to dodge and counter super attacks. And uh, overall, just really great so if you're willing to wait for EZA to drop at some point in the future she's definitely worth the wait and uh, as far as other EZAs that aren't on global yet we also have the AGL Dispo who is uh, really insane offensively for a longer events but for shorter to medium events he's not as impressive and uh, once again we don't know when his EZA is coming to global it could be next month which I think is actually pretty likely with the uh, STR Topo EZA but it could also be a little bit longer than that, right? So we'll have to see. But uh, Dispo is also not a bad choice. AGL Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. Respectable damage, great healing. But defense is a little bit lacking, in my opinion. Uh, speaking of defense, though, AGL Golden Frieza. Legitimately one of, if not the best tank in the entire game. 90% damage reduction when above 40% HP. And his Extreme Sea Awakening also allows him to do a little bit more damage now which is obviously nice so uh yeah those are the main ones i would highlight for the agl pool uh fit boo for sure super saiyan 2 khalifla uh agl dispo golden frieza super saiyan 2 angel goku and uh you know what this super saiyan 2 vegeta is also a defensive monster with his extreme z awakening but i would go fit boo number one khalifla number two and probably golden frieza number three uh, moving on to tech types now. Tech Super Saiyan Kid Trunks is a must pick up in my opinion if you don't have him. Uh, he gets up to 274% attack and 70% damage reduction with his awakening, but only when paired with either a Kid Goten or a Krillin. So obviously, if you're going to pick him up, I would ensure that you also pick up the Int Super Saiyan Kid Goten or at least have him in your box so you can run them together because when they're together, some crazy things happen, but by themselves, they're just okay. It's just when they're together on the same rotation, they're so crazy that I definitely think they're both worth the pickup. Another good choice here is this Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. He infinitely stacks attack and defense. He also is an orb changer for tech orbs and gets a ton of attack and defense for every tech orb obtained. Uh, this dude has carried me through many events in the past. Just a really, really strong unit. Um, for support units, this girl is actually one of the better supports in the game. Key plus 3 and attack plus 40% is absolutely crazy. In fact, she has the same support passive as AGL Turles. The only issue is that um, offensively, she's not going to be very impressive. And uh, defensively, aside from her dodging capabilities, 
she also can't really take a hit. But from a purely support standpoint, she's excellent. And uh, aside from that, I would probably also highlight the tech Majin Vegeta, who's about to get his Extreme Z Awakening on Global in about a week or two. And uh, he becomes one of the better attack all options in the game with his Extreme Z Awakening. So that's tech right there. And for Int, we already talked about the um, Super Saiyan Kid Goten for the same reasons as the Kid Trunks. Make sure you have both of them if you plan to pick up at least one. And uh, who else here? Um, Metal Cooler is actually one of the better extreme supports in the game. Int Fusion 13 is extremely strong, but only when you're running a mostly or full androids category team. Int Golden Frieza's Extreme Z Awakening is excellent for supporting target Goku category allies, and he's also just very strong against Goku enemies in general. Uh, Int 18's EZA is also quite monstrous when paired up with an Android 17 on the same rotation. Obviously Mai is also a great support unit for time travelers, and also a great stunner. Uh, Rebrian is currently the best leader for Peppy Gals if you need a good Peppy Gals leader. But my top picks here would probably be, yeah, Super Saiyan, Kid Goten, uh, Metal Cooler, as well as Int 13. Now for STR types, number one, no question, is STR Topo. Now just like Dispo, he doesn't have his Extreme Z Awakening on Global yet, but I do expect it to come sooner than later, probably sometime next month. And with the EZA, he is legitimately, like in my opinion, he is actually the best support unit in the entire game when you consider everything that he does. Because not only is he a great support unit, he also gets a really good amount of damage reduction, 40% when below 70% HP. He also is debuffing the enemy's defense by 70%. And uh, he just does a lot of stuff, man. He's a great unit, obviously fits on some of the best categories in the game. And I would say he is the number one priority, no question, in this pool. Outside of him, STR Majin Vegeta is an offensive monster. Um, 17 is actually really strong too when paired up with an Android 18. And he can infinitely stack defense too. So for longer events, he gets some crazy, crazy defense. And um, there's some other good choices here too. Like Int Goten is a good orb changer who also can give you a little bit of defense. And uh, STR Super Saiyan 2 Youth Gohan is a good damage dealer when paired up with a Super Saiyan Goku. But uh, the main ones I would highlight here are definitely the Topo, uh, Majin Vegeta, as well as Android 17. And finally, we have the Fizz units. And I would say Bergadmo is still a very, very good pick. To this day, he's one of the best defensive units for medium to longer events. After taking a few hits, he is literally just impenetrable. Um, There's a reason why people call him Brigadmo, right? And uh, the Fizz Fatboo here is about to get his Extreme Z Awakening too in the uh, Hero Extermination Extreme Z area event. And he is great both offensively and defensively and also is one of the best healers in the game. He gives you 30% healing when you're below 40% HP, which is just insanity. And uh, who else do we have here? Um, oh! Fizz Berserk Kale, definitely Fizz Berserk Kale with her Extreme Z Awakening once again, which should have come with Khalifla a while ago, but we still don't have it. But once she gets it, offense off the charts, crazy amount of damage reduction, and uh, just a really, really powerful unit. But uh, it might take a while for us to be able to use her at her full capabilities. And those are probably the ones that I would highlight right now. I mean, I think that Super Saiyan Gotenks is quite good offensively and gets a good amount of defense. Uh, Fizz Super Saiyan Trunks is a great support unit. And you know, a lot of these units are like very powerful. Like just because I didn't talk about a specific unit in any of these different typings doesn't mean they're not good because there are overall a lot of excellent choices uh, in this pool. It's just the ones that I highlighted are the ones that I think that most people should be uh, prioritizing with their thank you gift cards because you don't get too many of them, right? I think at most, if you pick the uh, gift card wish for Purunga each time, you can get up to seven uh, thank you gift cards. So if you guys are newer players that are missing a lot of these units, then I would definitely pick from the ones that I highlighted. And just to refresh your memory, for AGL types, I said Fit Boo, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, and Golden Frieza are the top picks. For tech, I would go with Super Saiyan Kid Trunks, 
uh, this Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I mean, this guy's good too, but I think this Vegeta's better. And probably Majin Vegeta for Int, definitely Super Saiyan Kid Goten, um, Int Metal Cooler. And it's a bit of a toss up, honestly, between the 18 and 13 for me. And for STR, Topo is the unquestionable number one pick here. And then it's STR Majin Vegeta and STR 17. And finally for Fizz, we got Bracadmo, um, Fat Boo, and Fizz Berserk Kale. So once again, those are the ones that I think people should be prioritizing. It doesn't mean that those are the only good units. There are a lot of good units overall, and you should definitely pick up the ones that you're missing first before going for dupes. But uh, that's it guys, that is the video, that is my personal opinion about the best units to pick with your thank you gift cards. Let me know in the comments down below which units you plan to exchange for with your gift cards. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.